Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Seaspring. I'm here today to do a Dark of the Moon haul video for you guys. Uh, I finally, um, even though I was a skeptic of some of the figures at first, I, I kind of gave in a little bit. Some figures I still haven't gotten yet because I just, I don't really care for them. I'm, I'm waiting until they go on sale for a really, really cheap price. So for the most part, I got all the figures that I want, and in, in, the, in the process of all this, I want some stuff, which you guys already know that already, but I'm kind of going to show you right now my... <coughs> My full Dark of the Moon haul video, aside from a couple of the Legion reviews, Cyberverse figures that I've, I've done already. So right now, I'm going to start off with some Legion figures. Right now we have Crane Case. Very nice. Still have to open this guy up. Next up, I got... And next up, I got Top Spin. Pretty sweet. As you can see, this is just the little guys. If you don't know this already, but I'm pretty sure you do. Alright, next up, Ratchet. I do like this one better than the other ones. I'm probably going to put the other ones in a, in a, uh, away in storage somewhere. I'm most likely going to keep this guy as my main Ratchet now. He looks pretty cool. I like this guy. Looks a lot better than the other one, I think. Even though I'm not a big fan of that paint scheme. With that white and green. Just keep it the one color from the first movie and just whatever. I, I'm, but it looks okay, you know what I mean? So, anyways. Next up, we're going to take a look at... Some Cyberverse Commander figures. We have, first up, Sentinel Prime. I was pretty excited to get this little guy. Very sweet. Next up, Megatron. Very slick. Okay, very cool. I like this guy. Next up, Blackout. Very sweet. I was really excited to get this one. Big Blackout, Barricade, and uh, Brawl Fan. I like all three of those guys. And... This guy looks pretty cool. As you can see there. Okay, next up, we have Power Glide, also in the Cyberverse Commander series. This one I got from my friend Adrian. So, Adrian, thank you very much for getting me this guy. Really appreciate that. Adrian found this guy before me, and I didn't even know this guy was out yet. And he's like, dude, I found two of them. I got you one. I was like, man, thank you so much. So, Adrian, thank you. I appreciate it, and I can't wait to open this guy up. And here we have Cyberverse Commander Decepticon Hatchet. This guy goes with Crankcase and Crowbar. Uh, looks a little bit different than the movie. In the movie he was just a black SUV. And here he's a jet, which looks pretty slick. Gives that unique individuality to everyone. You know, not paying the same thing for the same figure and whatnot, but... Still pretty cool and it looks really nice. Black and gold. Nice detailing on there. Very obscure, that's for sure. But yeah, alright, next up. Some Dark of the Moon Human Alliance basic figures. Very cool. I like these guys. I do have all of them, I think, except for two other ones, a helicopter and some other one. Don't well, I don't they're not out in Canada yet. But anyways. This is the only Decepticon that I, I have or that is out so far, which is kinda sad because there's so many Autobots and not very many Decepticons. And some of them could look like Decepticons, but they're not. But anyways, Human Alliance uh, basic figures. We have Sergeant Chaos and Ice Pick. I like these guys a lot, I like the concept, and I do like them actually, even more than I thought. And they do remind me of Mask figures, Mask series, and if this kind of series does well, I really hope they push for a, a updated Mask cartoon and toy line, that, that would rock. But even though the quality of the figures are a little cheap, it is nice to get them with masks and stuff, so you can't really see the, the flawed paint um, on, on the faces and stuff like that, but cool concept, and... This guy has a snowmobile Decepticon, pretty sweet, and he has a hockey mask, how cool is that? But anyways, cool, cool. Alright, next up we have Spike Whitwicky and Backfire. This guy looks really nice. Really nice detail on here, really nice paint apps. And um, I was knocking the Dark of the Moon line before it came out, and seeing like these little guys, these look, guys look great. But, what are you going to do, you know? You get all ahead of yourself sometimes, and you're all caught up in rage, and stuff that's going on in your personal life, and, you know what? It happens. So, we all do it, so, sue me. So, I do like them, and these look pretty sweet. But, you know, like the Ratchet, and Bumblebee, those are, I'm not a big fan of, like the deluxe size figures and stuff, and, but, these little guys, this line is pretty cool, actually. But, anyways, 
backfires the robot and Spike Wick Wiki is the human alliance figure. You can see here he is robot and he is the, the three wheel or mode. I can't remember the name of this thing. And then we also have the alternate weapon mode. Okay, cool. So uh, next up we have Major Tungsten and Thunderhead. This guy's pretty cool. And again, you can see, uh, you know, this one has, isn't actually too bad, but some of the eyes and stuff, like one of them has a big blotchy eye and a little, one other one has a little tiny eye, but the quality on the human figures isn't the greatest, but the robots are nice. And they're well detailed and well painted. So much detail in there and little individual colors and stuff. Highly impressed so far with these little guys. See here? Pretty cool. A mech suit and then the, a mobile weapon mode and robot mode. Okay, so Thunderhead and Major Tungsten. Next up we have Private Deadcliff and Sandstorm. Nice little set. I didn't really like this at first when I first saw the images on it on certain Transformer websites. But seeing it in hand, it does look pretty nice. Nice detail on there and just the sculpt of it looks pretty sick. Again, these little guys are not the greatest, but it looks okay. See there? And you know what? In my perspective, it would be cool, especially with this guy here, and this like guy, for example, here. You can kind of go on the Transformer Prime uh, perspective and have this as uh, that guy, the leader of Mech. I can't remember his name offhand. But they're trying to make Transformers from the Mech uh, organization. And if you want to go into that, you can take these little guys and put them with your prime figures, and then you can have these robots and whatnot, and make them uh, your uh, the robots that they made. And then you can have, for example, you can have these guys as you know, like the soldiers with the mask and stuff. And then you can have all these guys as other robots and stuff. So if you if you want to elaborate on your transformer playability you can buy these and even paint them up if you want to make them all one color to resemble the mech with all green and, and whatnot but that that's my opinion and you, you, you can do mask you can do mech you know you can do whatever you want with this stuff and I think it's pretty cool that if you want to use your imagination you can you can go as far as to do that kind of stuff so so okay so next up we have deluxes so first up for deluxes we have Roadbuster which I like and I was pretty excited to get. I, I from Initially I wasn't too happy with, with some of the toys that I've seen like for example the main one that I hated to, to see it right off the hop was the Voyager Optimus Prime. I thought that looked the stupidest out of all the Dark of the Moon figures but like the Wreckers and stuff I wanted to get and Crankcase and stuff like that but even though this guy's locked in paint apps like so much gray in this figure I think the concept and you know with a little bit of TLC I think this guy could be a, a decent figure to have in your collection. And I don't know, he looks pretty cool. Nice race car. Whoever doesn't like race cars or cars in general and robots, how can you go wrong, you know? And you got this chainsaw looking mech, mech tech thing looking up there. Looks pretty cool. I like this, I like this. Okay, so next up for deluxes we have We have Top Spin from Wave 2, which I I've only seen a couple of these guys around and I was pretty excited to get him. I got all, all these other figures on sale, and this one I got full price, which not a big deal for the amount of money that I saved on the, the sale figs. So here we have the top spin, looking pretty sweet. I like this guy. Nice. I heard this is the, the better one out of the two deluxes that are out so far, from uh, friends of mine and whatnot, but pretty cool. Top spin. Definitely expect reviews of all this stuff that you see in this video coming up in the near future. This stuff is pretty sweet. Okay, anyways, I'm getting all caught up in a daze here. Next up, we have Autobot Jolt, which this guy here I didn't buy. I won uh, off the radio station, which, uh, again, you might recall that. So I'm so, uh, so happy and excited that I won that. And I can't help talking about it, so uh, yeah. I Pretty cool. I want Jolt, and uh, I'm I'm gonna show you in this video also what I want in that video. Just kind of show you my whole Dark of the Moon haul for uh, the last last week or so, last two weeks. Okay, anyways, we have Jolt. Not the greatest figure, but I'm pretty excited to get him because he's free, and eventually I'm gonna get all these because I'm a completionist. 
and since you buy one or two, you get hooked. In my perspective, anyway. Okay, enough talking. Jolt. And here we have Ratchet, as you can see. Got this guy also on sale at um, Local Zellers. It's like a Target in Canada, which is being bought out by Target. So anyways, all about Ratchet. Pretty cool. Um, saw looking thing. You can see robot mode. Truck mode. Very sweet. Alright. Next up, Sideswipe. And this is the Dark of the Moon one, obviously, with the convertible and the weapon, mech tech weapon. Pretty slick. See there. Not too bad. I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't on sale, I don't think. Especially with that plain gray. If it was silver, I think I would have paid full price for it, but it's kind of ugly in my opinion, but that's just me. That gun is pretty cool, though. Look at that thing. It's nice. Okay, so next up we have Walmart exclusive Sideswipe. I think this is the G2 repaint, if I'm not mistaken, or G G2 homage. Um, but here we have it, as you can see. In the back there, and you got the Bumblebee, which I don't really care about the Bumblebee. And in person, that Bumblebee doesn't have all this red on it, so I don't know why this has it on there. But anyways, this is the last one there, so paid full price for it, but not a big deal. I didn't really like it at first, but in person it doesn't look too bad, and I might possibly leave it in package, but... Anyways, speaking of Sideswipe, I got another one. Which one could it be? Let's check it out. Here we have Toys R Us exclusive, the Scan Series Sideswipe, as you can see shows a picture of the protoform uh, figure or character and then it scans the vehicle giving it that like half and half clear look to it kind of look, looks, like, looks like it's getting scanned not too bad kind of a cool concept and you know to do repaint this is a neat idea for a repaint and it's you know it's I think it's a cool idea and personally I don't think I'll take it out of the package I'll probably just leave it in the package because it kind of gives that effect you know what I mean so it doesn't look too bad but yeah so obviously I got this guy next one I got is Ironhide as you can see looks pretty cool so here you have both of them side by side again I found these guys on sale didn't pay full price which is pretty cool and here we have some Target slash Zeller exclusive figures uh, which I found on sale regularly $16.99 got these things for 11 or 12 dollars or something like that but first up we have RC which is the repaint of the Revenge of the Fallen one it's a you know it's a pink color and gray white and the plastics translucent which is kind of neat nice picture of RC there the same a great mold but um, to look maybe to keep it in vehicle or just in the package like this looks pretty nice and that all white base uh, sidecar thing that looks kind of weird just take a look in the back here again Pretty sweet. So yeah, this set came in a four figures to the wave. We have this one. We got the 2007 repaint of Jazz done in this translucent black. It's kind of neat. Again, not a popular figure, but they repainted it anyway to sell again, which is kind of weird. There we go. And yes, yes, yes. Next up, we have one that I told myself I wouldn't get anymore. But you know what? I gave in to to the sale. I'm a sucker for sales, man. If it's something like a repaint, um, especially a, a repaint that I have a lot of, I don't like to pay full price. But I got this one anyway because I don't know. I just get all four of them because I'm a completionist. Well, here we are. I got a bumblebee. It's a clear, translucent Cybertronian rating on it. I told myself I wasn't gonna get this, but I got it anyway, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of a hypocrite right now, but you know what? I won't pay full price, so I'll I'll, I'll kind of give myself that. But anyways, Bumblebee. Okay. Next up, we have Space Case. Pretty sweet. And since it was on sale, I had to grab multiple Space Cases. I got three. I was going to keep one in package, keep one opened, and I was going to actually have this one for one of my contests on uh, Facebook. I'm going to have a contest group for my group Transformers Addicts, so definitely check that group out and stay tuned for the contest because you can win yourself one of these babies. Alright, so next up we have some more de Deluxe Decepticons. So, first up, we have Barricade. Again, got this guy on sale, which is nice. 
I actually went to Toys R Us to get it for the 11 or 12 dollar price that they had it around for, and it was sold out. Went to Zellers. It was the last day for the sale they had, and so I got it for ten dollars. And then the next day after that, they had another sale, which is, these things went up to like like eleven or twelve something. Which I got my, those other four that I just showed you. Let's take a look at the back here. Pretty cool. I really like barricades, so I just had to get this. All right, let's see what else I got. Crankcase. This guy's pretty cool. Um, I, I I found this guy for nine dollars and something. I, I really wish I could afford to get like five of them or so to kind of have my own little army of crankcases, little dreads. But this guy's pretty cool, and I w was excited to get him. And he's one of the few that I was looking forward to getting him uh, when I saw all these picks first appearing on uh, the Transformer websites. So, crankcase looking pretty sweet. I really hope we get a deluxe size crowbar, but who knows. Okay, next up we have the one and only Starscream. Very nice. Again, I got this one on sale for about $9 and something cents. And um, other figures like Bumblebee, Ratchet, and Jolt, and all them, I, I didn't get because I didn't really care about. But I did want to get these ones. And a deluxe size of this one is pretty cool. Not a big fan of the brown color on this, but I really hope it doesn't. I hope that they really fix the GPS syndrome, which I heard they have, but you never know. So Starscream, deluxe size, pretty sweet. Nice, nice. This guy kind of reminds me of Energon Starscream, especially with this giant double action blade looking weapon thing and the F-22 Raptor. Alright, very nice. Okay, so next up we have Voyager size figures. And first up for Voyager size figures, we have Skyhammer, who is a nice looking figure. Nice looking helicopter. Love helicopters, can't say that I'm not. And any kind of helicopter, tank, transformers, I'll, I'll get them. Love it. Very cool. A Skyhammer. Next up, we have the badass one eyed purple monster himself, Shockwave. Very sick. Look at that one eye. So, yeah, Shockwave. Very cool. It's cool to see him in the movie, and you know what? He, 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 he did justice for the movie. Even though we didn't see too much of him, we saw just enough of him, I guess. If it was like, you know, like a first movie, if you were to see him again, and like in a sequel or whatever, but he was in there, and he was badass, and it was pretty cool. Nice. Didn't have this mold, though, this ground assault mode, which I don't think he did anyway. But regardless, cool looking figure, and I can't wait to open this guy up. Okay, so from Voyager, we're just going to backtrack a little bit back down to Cyberverse. We have these little battle packs. First up, we have the one that I won from the radio station, which is pretty awesome. You can check out those videos. Uh, so first up, we have Bumblebee Mobile Battle Bunker. Say that one three times fast. So yeah, Bumblebee in there, and the little kind of truck-looking battle station. And you can see on the back here, it turns into little different assortments of goodies. Get the mobile um, assault thing, assault thing, <laughs> assault vehicle mode. There you go. Battle base mode and arc mode. I guess uh, to drive them onto the arc or whatever. But anyways, three one action set comes with Bumblebee launching missile, launching missiles, and which is really cool about this, the whole package turns into a little play diorama set. I think it's really cool. Really good usage of the box, in my opinion, and, uh, the package. So, anyways, um, I wasn't going to pay the twenty dollars full price for these, the nineteen ninety nine. So, I wanted to get the the Star Scream as well, which I did find on sale, and I have it right here. Star Scream Orbital Assault Carrier, which is awesome. Uh, the thing that he comes with turns into the flying things that stuck on the side of the buildings in the Dark of the Moon film, which is cool. So I think to get like 10 of these things would be really cool. Just maybe for the vehicles, not so much for the Starscreams. So here you have um, Battle Station mode, the Starscream on top. And then you also have um, uh, the Space Cruiser mode with launching bay for the for Starscream. So yeah, I got these two little Cyberverse packs. But you know what? The fun doesn't stop there. What's up next? Let's take a look. Yeah, that's right. I got the Cyberverse Arc playset, which is awesome, as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
very cool arc set comes with roller and the thing has lights and sounds two in one battle station thing turns into a huge battle station as you can see uh, I think this thing I don't even know I think this thing was like forty dollars and then I got it on sale for I don't know maybe thirty maybe got, I don't know I got like ten bucks off or whatever so can't complain and I definitely would not pay full price for this thing uh, I might have but I, d lately I've been finding so many deals so to get things not on sale is really hard for me lately so anyways arc playset can't wait to open this up and review it you can see roll it inside there so many reviews on this thing already and so many reviews came out even before this thing came out and usually with my kind of niche of doing like the play the track sets and stuff like that which again it's my highest grossing video over a hundred and like forty thousand views or something like that but anyways I did that one and the hunt for the Decepticon Bumblebee track and so it would have been cool to do this too first but it's not always about doing it first you know it's just about having fun okay so enough mushy mushy next up so up next let's take a look at what I have yeah, I got some more Cyberverse figures. Uh, these ones are all like Legends slash Legions. Well, in this case, they're all Legends because these are all Legends when they came out in that size class. That's just Transformer Geek Talk, so don't mind me. So, anyways, which is what is cool about this set? It comes with little guns, and I think they're Spy Changer guns, if I'm not mistaken. So that's kind of cool. And this thing was I think was like twenty dollars, and I got it on sale for fifteen or so, maybe even a little bit less. So that was pretty cool, and I would not pay full price for this thing. Not not that cool in my opinion, especially with those damn bumblebees. Um, so here here you have it on the back here. Let's see all the figures. Yeah, so classics universe repaint, movie repaint, movie repaint, Cybertron repaint. Okay, so what else do I have? Let's take a gander. And of course, I want, uh, this is one of the things that I won from the radio station when I went to my movie passes and stuff like that. Air John's shock sword. Two feet long, man. That's what she said. <laughs> Anywho, this is also what I got. It's okay. I wouldn't have bought it, but it's fun to have for free anyway. Very cool. So, Air John's shock sword. Next up, I also have my mask, which I did wear at the premiere of the Dark of the Moon on the 27th. What up? Very sweet. Again, I wouldn't have bought this, but it's cool to get for free, and I'm not going to turn it away. Eh, mind the bump there. I've got two of these albums, and I did review this, so check that review out. Check out my uh, winnings at the radio station video, and my haul video from get picking up my prizes at the radio station. Check those videos out, they're pretty funny. I also got this, I got my movie pass, and I think that is it. That's it for Dark of the Moon stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to get some more stuff coming up soon. And on that note, I'm going to go take off and go open all the stuff up, do some reviews. So that's it. Thanks for watching my review on my review. Thanks for watching my haul video on the Dark of the Moon stuff. Definitely go check it out. It's a good film. Definitely check out my review on the film. Um, I'm going to do another full review soon. And that's it. So, so that's it. Tell me what you thought of my haul, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See you later. Doom, 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 doom.